Hello, this is a Yamaha Concert Grand Piano, fully restored, made in 1978, 275 centimetres long, that's nine foot long, and it's in a concert venue. This is a venue that we put a lot of our concert pianos in. Obviously, it shows them off in a concert venue better than a very small venue, though if you want to have a piano at home this size, recording studios are not always big, and they have concert grand pianos, but they dampen down the acoustics with lots of absorbent material, so you can do that. And of course, you get a much better, richer tone on a, a concert grand piano. This is a very, very good year for Yamaha, and I want to encourage you to uh, think about fully restoring concert grand pianos of this age, rather than buying a new one. The tone for me is warmer, and I think if you're a technician, you might like to comment on this, but the tone of the 70s Yamahas are uh, the warmest, the uprights are the same. The co cosmetics, of course, are, are perfect on this piano and internally is finished off as well as we possibly can. The bridge has been recapped. Uh, we needed some extra down bearing. So lots of technical things, which I won't go into, but there are plenty of other videos about that. I've got the very best parts here. That's uh, Heller bass strings. If you are in the trade, you'll know what that means. The best European bass strings are one of the very best string makers in Europe. Um, and uh, obviously finished off as well as we possibly can. So I want to encourage you, as I say, to buy uh, restored Yamaha of this age rather than a brand new piano because, well, obviously the price is less, but that's not the real reason. The real reason it has a very warm tone. So let's have a, a quick listen to the tone. Actually, before we do, I just want to mention that one of the reasons we had to fully restore this piano, and I have got a video of it before, it was very, very, uh, a very used piano, and the touch weight was wrong, and the hammers were very worn. Uh, we'll see the new Arbel, top quality Arbel bio hammers, they're called, in a minute. But the touch here is 49 grams down weight here and roughly or almost exactly the same sorry uh, plus or minus two grams the touch right throughout i think the maximum is 50 and the minimum is 47. down weight is obviously the weight that you put on uh, for the key to go down um, there we are and just tapping it at the bottom you can see that's 49 grams and that weight is the maximum weight when it's still still to go up so that's harder to measure but that's 26 grams which you just it's just really excellent because you want it to be relatively low, but not, not so low that um, it will not return properly. We did replace the key tops on this piano uh, with top quality modern key tops because they were ivory, which um, was good. But the problem with nowadays, exporting ivory is getting more and more difficult and we decided uh, to replace them. So obviously it's nice to keep ivory but I, I think uh, nowadays it's a good idea to replace them when when the pianos are fully restored not always it just depends but this is a concert grand and uh, uh, we want obviously to be able to sell this piano anywhere in the world although we prefer them to go into the UK if possible because pianos tend to recycle so we might end up we often end up with our pianos coming back in again so it's been fitted with Arbel hammers Steinway themselves use Arbel hammers as well. Right? Yam Yamaha obviously is Japanese, but top quality pianos are either Renner or Arbel hammers and new rollers. And we see they've been lubricated, a little bit of uh, talc lubricant on there just to make them really smooth and noiseless. Um, just all the, all the work that we would normally do, hammer shanks and rollers and felt, new felts as well. Now the main way that the tone has been improved, and of course the touch too, is replacing hammer shanks and rollers and felts. Um, because the new hammer hits much more cleanly. So let's listen to the tone round here. Now, especially playing s softly, it was impossible with the original hammers. They were just too worn, too refaced. Now, this has got 20, 30 years life in it before it needs any work doing on it. Uh, obviously, if it's played very heavily, then it will be sooner than that. It was originally very warm sounding. Uh, I doubt whether they've improved on the tone that's very slightly with new strings because it's not so much the strings as the hammers that affect the tone mostly. But new strings, obviously, we restrung, um, and as you can see, with the best strings we could find. It's very high quality strings here, a very, very warm sound. It's a warm 
sound is to do with strings and hammers and soundboard. The soundboard of these uh, 70s Yamahas is just phenomenal. So that's a Yamaha Concert Grand Piano, fully restored, made in 1978. And the warmth of the tone really is unsurpassed, I believe, in all Yamaha Grand Pianos. So I want to encourage you to have a, an older, 1970s particularly, Yamaha Grand Piano restored, and also older Steinways restore extremely well. Other makes, Bersendorfer, we love to restore too. But if you want a very sensitive piano, you want a piano like a new piano, then there's no reason why you shouldn't buy a 70s piano that's been fully restored. Um, and we try to refine, obviously, as much as we can to make it like a new piano. We even try to refine new pianos. So we're trying to obviously end up with as sensitive a piano as possible so that you can play softly. And also have a lot of power. And the warmth of the tone here is just very beautiful, really. And of course, with long strings, it has a very rich bass sound. If you have a small room and you want to have a rich bass sound, then you can cut the acoustics of the room down with using car carpets, curtains, drapes, tapestries, and it's uh, quite surprising how you're able to get a su suitable acoustics and yet still have the bass to ring out for you. So I want to encourage you to buy, as I say, restored pianos of this age, or if you have a concert grand piano you'd like us to restore. Uh, this piano was very worn, very used. The soundboard though now is still original, and that we checked by playing here to see if it lost any of its down bearing correcting if it had, but in this case, this is a very full tone. interested in trying out the piano please write to info at robertspianos.com and you can come and try the piano out or if you want us to send it to you to try out that's a possibility too but as this is an immaculate piano obviously uh, that's more difficult for us to do but we'll try and accommodate whatever you require so thank you very much for listening I hope that's been helpful